Good day. There's a common question these days, and that's, what should my first gun be? Should it be a Mosin the gun? Should it be an SKS? Should it be some sort of pistol? Now, in all reality, it does indeed come down to personal preference for the most part. But my personal suggestion has, and always will be, the Single Shot 22. Really, throughout the 20th century, many children were actually taught how to shoot with a gun quite like this, and they usually started a lot earlier than shooters do today. Now, the 22 rifle might seem a bit boring. Oh, sure, it's not nearly as flashy as, say, an AR-15 or a Glock, but you can certainly learn the fundamentals of firearm ownership with one of these better than you can with some sort of Mall Ninja Special. And with this, you can also learn the responsibility of gun ownership as well. Now, in the 20th century, many children used these for fun. Plinking, as it's called. And it was also used as a tool as well. A rifle like this could be expected to take many pieces of small game to help a shooter's family have enough food to survive. Now, these days, this is often seen as boring, sadly. But this right here that I hold in my hand is anything but boring. This is the Marlin Glenfield Model 10. This was my very, very first rifle. This was my very first gun in general, in fact. And I got this at a very, very young age, and I was able to learn all that I needed to learn about shooting from such a simple weapon. And with that, let's take a closer look at the Glenfield Model 10. The Model 10 is an absolutely beautiful wood and steel bolt-action rifle with a varnish stock with the symbol of a prairie dog carved into it. This particular animal is a bit of a pest in some areas and is routinely hunted with weapons such as this. The quality of the carving is absolutely excellent. It really ties the whole rifle together. The trigger guard is cut at a stylish angle that I loved both as a kid and now. The trigger pull itself is a bit stiff, but very smooth. Sights are simple iron sights with an adjustable rear sight and a fixed front sight. Essentially, this is the perfect weapon for the beginning shooter, with everything nice and self-explanatory. Now today, we are going to be shooting at 25 yards with 22 long rifle ammunition, manufactured by Federal. So with that, let's take it out to the range and see what we can do with it. As you can see, the weapon is really, really accurate. And this particular grouping here was somewhat difficult for me to actually get, mainly because I could barely see the target. It was shot at 25 yards away, and for me, with really horrible eyesight, that is pretty bloody far indeed. The bullseye there actually looked just like a pale orange dot that I could barely bloody well see. So I don't feel that this is too shabby indeed. 
Now the single shot itself will teach the beginning shooter patience. You have only one bullet before you can reload, so you, as the shooter, of course, want to make it count. And growing up, I was taught to shoot by my grandfather, and he was in the U.S. Marines, for those who do not know. In the Marines, every Marine is a rifleman. You don't just spray and play like a bloody orc from 40K. And on top of being a Marine, he also received a medal for marksmanship. So he was definitely one to teach shot placement and not noise making. Now the Model 10 here was old when I got it, so actually finding one of these may prove difficult, but if you do stumble across one, I highly recommend picking one up, as they are absolutely exquisite guns. And so, this is General Watts wishing you good 1022 and good Henry Standard, or whatever makes you happy.